Hi, I'm Jim Hansen. I've been coaching fast pitch softball for about 14 years. I'm the head coach over at Kennedy High School. Uh, at Clutch Hitters, we take kids every day that don't have any experience hitting. And with the drills that you're going to see here today, we get them hitting as well as anybody on the team. All right, so this is one of the one of our favorite bats that we like to use. It's called the Insider Bat. It can be found at theinsiderbat.com. Um, and we'll go three sets of series with these. We'll do one where we grip down here with our lead hand and do some lead hand drills. The second one, we'll grip right here with our backhand and do some backhand drills. And then we'll do two hand drills. Okay, the concept of this bat is called the insider bat. It's to keep your hands inside. So as I go to the ball, I'm keeping my hands inside, 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 and my bat barrel legs behind. So my hands lead my bat barrel. When my bat barrel catches up to the ball, that's going to create bat speed, power, and whip through the ball. Um, probably the biggest thing you see with girls fast pitch and even baseball is the kids being too quick. And sometimes it comes from over repetition. But basically, the kids are in here, and as they get to the ball, they don't lead with their hand long enough, and they've got here, and they've lost power here, and their head's here, and the ball's here. So with this insider bat, if I do that, I'm going to swing and miss, okay? So what I want to do with my left hand, my lead hand, drive my hand through, let my bat head catch up, drive the ball. With my back leg, I want to finish nice and strong with my back leg. Um, we'll talk about that in a little bit, but it's basically just like throwing a punch. Um, a lot of kids will leave their back legs sitting there like that, and their hips will stay right here. Uh, you'll hear squash the bug. If I squash the bug, it doesn't necessarily mean my hips came through. So we'll go to throw the punch, and when I come through and hit the ball, I'm going to throw the punch. And now you see my hips come through, my back legs long, tall, and flexed. So left hand would look something like this. And our goal anytime we're hitting straight away is to hit the ball straight ahead. And we can talk about directional hitting um, in another segment. When I go to my backhand, my backhand is going to be right here. Once again, I'm coming right through, meeting the ball. And it should look like this. Okay, two hands is pretty self-explanatory. And the last thing I'm going to say is basically when you're in the swing and you take this bat away, and you analyze what my left hand's doing. It's basically coming down to the ball and karate chopping to the top half of the ball. My right hand's coming down like this and basically throwing a punch to the top of the ball. Left hand karate chop, right hand punch. Together you have a good swing. I'm going to bring up uh, Alexa now. She's one of the students at Clutch Hitters and she's going to give it a whirl with her lead hand, back hand, and two hands. Okay? Good job. Move up a little bit closer to the ball. Plate. Nice job. Do a couple more. Doing great. Good. Nice job. Let's go with the backhand. So backhand, she's bringing the lead with her hands. Throwing a punch to that top half of the ball, it should go straight ahead. Great. And if a kid turns out and turns too early, they're not going to make any contact or they're going to make weak contact. Lex is doing a great job because that ball is moving. One of the things you'll see kids do is they'll hit with this bat and they'll hit everything to left field. Well, that means they're still turning too early. If they're hitting the right field, which you don't see quite as much. It means their hands are casting outwards instead of staying inside. A couple more. Nice. Perfect. Man, you are hot today. Just got underneath that one a little bit, but otherwise that was fine. Let's try two hands. Good. Use those legs. Athletic. Look like you're going to hurt that ball. Okay. Good. Let's do a couple more. Nice job. Good. So this is side toss with the insider bat. Nice job. Balls of the feet. Good. She's doing a great job. It's all right. Swing and miss. No big deal. Everybody swings and misses. Go get the next one. Nice job. Tough one. Watch that ball all the way through. Great job. So the next thing you can do with the insider bat is just a little front toss with wiffle balls. It's a great drill. The kids need to stay back on the ball and stay on top. If the kid gets their weight out front, they're going to hit something weak. 
the ball comes in and they get underneath the ball, another weak hit. So the only way you can really hit the ball well is to let it get deep on you, bring your hands inside, stay on top of the ball, and you'll hear it and see it when they hit it well with the insider bat. So here we go, Alexa. Just underneath that one just a little bit. Oh, good job. That's why we usually use the front toss net. Nice job. Perfect. I like it. Right up the middle. Pitcher beware. Great job. Josiah here with Samurai Slugger. When you visit SamuraiSlugger.com, we have video tips, weekly blogs, and tips that inspire players and partner with parents and coaches so that players in baseball and softball can go further faster.